on everybody, hope we're all fit and well, no illness, no injuries, nothing we need to worry about. It's all setting ourselves up as usual, standing nice and tall, drawing that tummy in, making sure our feet are under our hips, weight over our feet, arms at your sides, and then just let that weight rock forward so you have to press your big toe down and back till just before you think you're going to fall and just gently let that rock forwards and back getting those senses woken up all those neurons firing getting the body ready to go that's good a few more and one more that space where you feel nicely balanced you don't feel you're leaning forwards or back hands up to hips or one hand front behind and just go loosen up my lower back so we're just rotating tilting that pelvis under and then back so it's a little tilt under and you might find just softening the knees just helps get that lower back into position it's good keeping that going and just tilting that under so it helps find that neutral spine. It loosens up those joints at the bottom of the spine. That's it. Couple more. Good, one more time. And then find that spot now. It should be nicely balanced and neutral spine. Let me get your feet moving. Pressing that foot into the ground. That's it, just letting the arms join in, natural. Swinging, walking movement with those arms from the shoulder. That's it. And the slowly increasing movement. So just bringing them up a little bit higher. That's good. Those arms up so the other starting to push back more. Just become a little higher still. That's it. Very good. Really stretching now. Opening up those shoulders. That's it. And just start to take those arms a little wider. Just coming out further now. That's good. Nice and wide. A couple more. That's it. And bringing that back down. Good. So standing nice and tall again, nice and central. Lift those arms up and we open out. Nice stretch, opening out that chest. Take that deep breath as we open and blow it out as we come down. That's it. Good. Excellent. Nice stretch out. A few more. We'll just extend this movement a little bit. So we're going to keep you up on your feet a little bit longer today. Do like an extended warm up, stuck standing section. It's good. So this time, up now, take it over. Back, in, and down. So up, open, keep the arm at 90 degrees to the body. Up now, reach it over. That's good. Excellent. A few more. This is a really nice stretch down the side. Easing that body out. That's good. One more each way. Last one. And bringing that down. Still standing tall, gonna take those hands up, just 
sweeping it side to side. Nice, smooth, steady movement. After a while, we're going to extend this out into our windmill. That's good. That's a couple more, and then we'll take it around. So we're ready. Let's sweep that in front. And up, change direction. Nice and steady. That's it. Really good. Sweeping that through. finding as things warm up, get that lower back and those hamstrings loosen, looking how low we were on that first time around. That's good, a few more. That's it, one more each way. Good, last one around. And let's bring that down. Okay, so we're still standing, nice and tall. Gonna take that reach out, then the other way. That reach. Looking towards those fingers. So taking that reach out wide. Good. We're starting to reach just behind that shoulder. Go a little bit back. That's it. Taking it now back over the shoulder. Looking behind. That's it. Take that round. Couple more. We're going to take that into our rotation. So let's sweep that round. Nice and steady. We're not forcing it, we're not bouncing. And now release that heel so we can turn and look all the way right round behind. So a few more. Good. One more each way. And bring that back. Give yourself a few seconds just for that balance to come back. Okay, so we're going to stand nice and tall. We're going to take that weight just onto one foot. I'm going to bring your hands out in front of the body and we're going to turn. So we open one hand, look towards that hand as it turns. If you do struggle with that balance, you can just touch that toe down. Just keep that light touch on that toe. If you are on quite a thick, spongy mat, particularly if that bends on carpet, step onto a harder floor if you can. 
helps with the balance. Good, couple more. Bring that in. Reset yourself, switch legs, take a few seconds if you need. Take that weight again onto that other leg. And turn. Good, few more. Good, one more each way. And down we go. Okay, taking those feet out wide and out, toes pointing slightly outwards. I'm just gonna circle those hips around. Nice big wide circle. That's it. Making that around nice and steady. Maybe to keep that head fairly central, those hips are rotating around underneath. And let's change direction, so taking that the other way. That's good. Keeping that going. Two more times. Good, two more. And bringing that back in. Okay, bring those feet back in now. Take the weight up back onto one leg. Just lift your foot slightly off the ground. We're gonna rotate that ankle around. And as that's going, we're just gonna turn those wrists. Just easy now ankle and those wrists and then let's change direction good one more and bring that down switching legs turn that ankle again keep those wrists going Set. Change direction. That's it. Couple more. And bringing that back down. Okay, so staying a little bit of a balance onto one leg. Going to sweep through. Remember, it's all about that balance, the body working to keep you standing upright. It's not about how high we get that other leg or anything. That's good. Nice and steady, and we just keep standing as tall and still as we can. Really good, a few more. And bringing that down, taking your weight over onto that other leg. And then squeeze that through again. 
So hands just wherever's comfortable for you, whether that's on your hips, down by your sides, out wide to help the balance, holding onto some furniture, whatever we need. over onto the first leg. I'm just going to draw that circle around the standing leg. So just sweeping that leg around. Trying to draw as much of a circle as we can. That's it. So we've got to still keep it standing nice and tall and still. Good. One more. And bring that down, switching legs over onto that other side. A nice circle around. ourselves standing as tall, still and balanced as we can. So as much a balance exercise as it is one for rotating and loosening the hip. Good. One more. And bring that back in. Well done. Okay, feet under those hips now. Standing nice and tall. Just going to take that down. Bring it back up. One more, we're going to change it up. So we're going to take those hands high. We're going to sweep. Reach high. And that's excellent, keeping that going. If you want to make it harder, we can go to those toes. Excellent, couple more. One more. And bring it down. Okay, let's take our feet out wide and out, toes pointing slightly outwards. I'm just gonna squat that down. Push it up, really squeeze that form as we come up. That's it. Excellent. Keep 
Can I move it? Keep that head and chest up. Good. Gonna change it up. Add in that side reach. So we're gonna take that out and up. That's it. Sideways, hold on your mat now, or depending on which way you've got, you just need to be able to take that step back. Just give it a go into our little lunge. So we can either just dip to where you feel comfortable, or take that lower knee almost to the ground. in now. So as we step back, those arms come up. Keeping that head up. That's it. Nicely done. times. Keep that going. Really good. Good. One more each leg. And bring that back up. Well done. Okay. Taking it more to the end of your mat. Looking lengthways down. We're going to roll it down now so stand tall. Take those hands high, and we roll. Go down towards the floor, unroll it, stack those vertebrae as we come up, take them high. That's good. Down we go, and up. That's it, excellent. If you need to soften those knees as we come down, take those hamstrings and lower back, that's fine. For that deeper stretch, take it down. Roll towards those feet, bringing it back up. That's good, a couple more. One more, we're going to let it hang at the bottom, bring this down, letting that hang, heavy hand, heavy head, and now sweep that around those feet, Yeah, 
Battle those feet. And back to centre. Let's unroll that up. Take that high. Taking it down again. Reach that down towards the mat. Hands on the mat and walk it out into that long arm plank. That's good. Keep that nice, long, straight line. And take it down to your knees. We're into that box position now. Hands under shoulders, knees under our hips. We're just going to arch that spine up, letting our head drop. And three. Let that spine drop, head up, thumb in the air. And three. Bring it up. Push it up through that spine. And three. So taking that up again, pushing up through that spine, really nice stretch out, that's good, take it down, one more each way, push that spine up, and rotate through and down. Go back to centre, sit that back onto your heels into your child's pose. Really stretching forward through those shoulders. And now let's walk our hands out to one side. So stretching out one way. Back to centre. Really reach forward as far as you can. Good, and then walk the hands the other way. Good stretch. Back to centre. Can we reach even further? Walk those fingers out. bringing that back up well done okay so a little bit of an extended warm-up there slightly uh, ulterior motive a bit battered after a heavy weekend of racing and last night so it was a nice stretch out so we're going to just do a few basic exercises to take us through the rest of the time so when you start face down on the mat legs extended arms up in that 90 degree position so let's take it to the mat We're just going to start with that torso raise, just lifting that head and chest, slowly back down. So we're using those muscles along the spine to raise us up, slowly down. That's good. So one more, we'll extend. So on this next one, when we get to the top, that's when the arms come into play. We extend up, control back down, good. Let's raise using the spine, then we extend. That's good. Lift and extend. Good. 
ゃあそんなワンモーターン Those muscles in the back Then you extend with the arms And control it down Good So staying in the same position We're going to do that arm and leg lift So from that 90 degree position One arm will lift Opposite leg will lift long and straight So right arm, left leg Left arm, right leg Staying down on that mat Are we ready? And let's go Forearm stays parallel to the ground Using those muscles around the back of the shoulder to lift That's it Good, keeping that going. Two more. Good, one more each side. To that kneeling box position. So we've got those hands under shoulders, knees under hips, hips and shoulders are flat, back as level as we can for your natural position. And just extend into that Superman or that bird dog. And let's take that out and back. Extend, remember to keep those hips and shoulders level. Picture in that tray of drinks resting on our back. We don't want to tip that over. position. We're going to take it into our thread the needle. So we take one hand, we go through, bring it back, rotate and up and change. Take it through, then the other way. Good, through. One more each side. Last one. And down we go. Okay, it's taking it onto our side now, just for a couple of exercises. 
So we're just going to start with our legs extended out, laying on one side, hand under the head for support, arm under the head for support, hand in front for balance if we need, and let's just raise that top leg. That's it, waist drawn away from the mat, bottom leg off the ground if you can, but if you do need to rest that down, not a problem, work to your own level. That's good. Good. Couple more. One more. And bring that down. Bending those knees up. Arm out at 90 degrees. Other hand on top. And let's open that door. Reaching that over. And back together. Good. And bring that back. Eyes follow that hand as it comes over. And trace it back. Well done. Gives us a lovely stretch out. Nice rotation of that spine. Opening out that shoulder. Good. Two more. Excellent. One more. And bringing that together, good. Let's we'll spin it around. Onto our other side, starting with that leg lift. Extend it out. Legs long, arm under the head, hand in front for balance if we need. Bringing that top leg up. to the ceiling, just got time for a couple of exercises, so we're just going to slide that leg out, bring it in. That's good. One more. And let's bring those knees up to tabletop. And we'll tap. That's 
good. Nicely done. Good. One more each leg. And bring yourself up to sitting. Sitting up nice and tall, hands forwards, just roll it back, and up, steady back, and up, so just take it as far back as we feel comfortable, up to sitting tall. Now let's sweep that hand wide and up. That's good. behind the head, bring those hands over, when you see the hands, lift the head, tuck the chin, roll the shoulders, curling up towards those feet, slowly back, all the way, unroll, one vertebra at a time, arms to the mat, hands over, good, couple of balls, tuck that chin, roll those shoulders, curl yourself up, Towards those toes and back. Okay, this time we're going to stay at the top. We're going to reach for those toes. Can we grab the toes? If not, grab your ankles, your shins, wherever you can. Stretching out that back and those hamstrings. Good, and then feet in towards the body. Bring those feet in, in, knees out. Let the knees drop, or use your elbows to take the stretch further. And just relax the feet, hands together. Opening out that upper back. Up above the head, reaching high. We'll take it round behind the back, hands in the small of the back or reaching backwards, chest forwards. That's good. Relax up to our feet. Standing tall. Let's pick one foot up, giving that thigh a little stretch. And change your legs. That's good. Feet down. Take that stance nice and wide. We're just going to sweep that down. Reach it up high. Next one takes us to those toes. Let's sweep. We'll go high and reach for three two, one, and relax it down. Well done, everybody. 